Justin here from FP Markets. Today I will be showing you how to use our paid version of the Iris platform which is called Iris Trader. One of the most important screens to look at is the portfolio screen. To bring this up you just go to analytics at the top and click portfolio. Once this screen comes up you need to make sure that your portfolio is selected so hit the little N under the portfolio section which stands for navigator type in your account number in this case I'll be using a demo account and highlight it so it turns blue and click OK you'll now see your GLV has now been updated one other thing to make sure is that you're looking at the CFD tab and not the general tab okay CFD tab is used for trading CFDs obviously okay now this screen here shows you your GLV which stands for gross liquidation value if we were to liquidate your open positions that is how much money you would have your initial margin if we had any open positions you would have this as a negative number and the free equity is the amount of money that you have available left to invest with as I open positions you'll see these numbers change and you'll see your open positions come up down here so before I do that let me just run you through what the few screens that I have open are used for so firstly we have the depth panel now this here is a very important screen as it will show you the market depth this is the full list of buyers and sellers on any stock so let's start with Commonwealth Bank you can see here the full list of buyers and sellers lining up to execute trades for the Commonwealth Bank okay you'll also see here uh, relevant information come up so the last traded price the number of cents the stock has moved today the percentage move it has moved today as well as the open high low previous close and the volume weighted average price okay let's say I want to place a trade or, or look at a chart you can do all of this just by right clicking on CBA you can bring up a quick trade panel you can bring up a chart you can look at reports on the stock you can bring up any security information so if I want to know when dividends are being paid um, you know again you can bring up reports through here as well a little bit of information on the on the stock is all done through the security info and that's just by right clicking on CBA furthermore you can also see the last 20 trades that have gone through on the position okay so that's also very important information these three panels that I have up on this side of the screen show you the trades that have gone through any potential orders that you've placed I usually have this set to pending and open orders so I can see which orders are still active in the market as well as any conditional orders you may have in in the market contingent order pad so this one here will show you any stop losses or take profits that you may have in the market okay to bring any of these panels up we just go to orders and go order pad trades or contingent order pad okay so as I said the trades will show any orders that have executed the order pad are pending orders that are sitting in the market and the contingent order pad is where your stop loss or your take profit orders will sit so now let me show you how to place a trade so what we'll do is right click here on CBA I'll go create buy order in this case I'll just use a market to limit style order okay uh, if you are interested in the different style of orders you can place refer to one of our other videos so you can see here I've put in a volume of 500 units the margin on the position is 5% the stock is shortable so that little Y there means yes it is shortable okay um, you can use this pad to place a stop loss or a take profit but as I said that's uh, gone over in, in, in another video something important to note is down here the market value of the position is thirty six thousand four hundred and sixty dollars okay the initial margin required is one thousand eight hundred and twenty three dollars and fifty cents so you just need to make sure that in your portfolio screen in sorry in your free equity you have at least one thousand eight hundred and twenty three dollars and fifty cents available otherwise this trade would fail okay we obviously do so as I hit buy you'll see this come up in the security section of the portfolio screen and you'll also see the initial margin column change as well so once I hit buy you can click OK so this is a confirmation screen and straight away 
the initial margin is $1,822. As soon as we got in, the position had moved against us, so we're already down $10 on the position. Okay, you can see the volume of five hundred dollars, uh, five hundred units here. Okay, all of these columns are also adjustable. So, if the two most important columns to you are your volume and your total profit column, you might have those at the front. Uh, you can also see, you know, the live information here: bid, ask, last. Uh, sense move and percentage move for the day. Again, if you didn't want to see those right at the front, you could move them at the back. If there's particular information that you would like to see, you can right click here and you have a number of different options. Uh, if you want to see, you know, the start of day volume that you had or the start of day average price um, or profit in a percentage, etc., etc. Okay. Now, one thing I'll also show you is you can see up here in your trades panel because this has executed straight away as it was a market limit style order you you'll notice that the position has already gone through or the, the position has been executed and you can note that here in the trades panel okay you don't have any pending or open orders because this order has already been filled okay if we had set a stop loss or a take profit that would show up on this in this box down here all right so this screen is very, very important. You'll also see here that our unrealized profit is $20 because our profit is $20. If we were to close this position out, then we would realize that $20 profit and that $20 would move from this column up to the realized profit of $20. Okay? Now, one thing I also want to show you is the charting package on this Iris Trader platform. So, you'll notice down here that I've got five tabs that I can quickly move between. So, these are purely customizable by you. You can put on these tabs whatever you'd like and call them whatever you'd like. All right. I've got a tab down here that I call charting. All right. So, let me bring up a chart of CBA, which is already up for me. So, all you do is CBA. Let's say I want to change the color of the chart, the first thing. So all I do is right click, go down to edit chart. Okay. It is already at candlesticks, but uh, if you wanted to change, if it was a, at a line chart, for example, and you wanted to change it to candles, just by again, right click. So changing the color, we come down to edit chart, set color. Let's say I want, you know, the up movements to be in green, down in red. I hit OK. That's a little bit hard to see, so maybe I'll change the background color as well. Again, set color, change foreground to background. I might make that black. If you want to change the periodicity of the chart, you can see up here this is a daily chart. You can do that just by hovering over, you know, what what periodicity that you're after, and choose the day. So this here would be a one-minute chart for one day. Okay, you can have this. You know, there's a whole bunch of different chart options you have here. Okay, if you want to zoom in on a particular section of the chart, so let me go back to a daily chart. Let's say I'm only interested in the last, you know, two or three months. I can just hold my cursor and drag, and that will zoom in for me. So just like that, I'm zooming into the chart like so. Alrighty. If I want to zoom back out, I just hit this magnifying glass at the top here. Adding, adding indicators to the chart is relatively easy as well. All you need to do is hit this button here. You choose the indicator that you want to add. In this case, let's just use a simple moving average. I'll do a 21 day and hit finish. Again, you can change the color of the indicator as well. Maybe in this case, we'll make it yellow. Just like that. Okay. Again, if I wanted to add a, a sub chart, I can do that by going, in this case, let's use a relative strength, 14 days, hit finish, just like that. Alrighty. Now, if there's a particular way you like to look at your charts, you can save them. So just by right clicking, going save charts, I can save this chart and call it uh, moving average and RSI in brackets candle sticks and hit OK this will then save this chart so whenever I want to bring it back up I just come down to save charts moving average and RSI candlestick hit on that and it will bring it up that way 
the preferences that you have in looking at a chart are saved, you then just come in and change the stock code. And it'll bring up any stock that you're looking at in the same format. Okay? Um, a few other things that you might do is this button here will allow you to draw on the chart. So let's say you want to draw some trend lines. Uh, it's relatively easy to do. Okay. Um, if you want to set, you know, support and resistance levels, again, you can do that as well. Maybe something like this and double bottom down here, like that. Okay. A lot of the the drawing tools here, you can play around with yourself. There's Fibonacci lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines, um, pointers as well. So if you really want to focus in on a particular section of the chart, um, you can do that as well. Alrighty. Over here, what I might show you is how to overlay the price of two charts. So let's say I want to look at how the price, the, the chart of CBA and the chart of ANZ to see if they're correlated. So I might leave this as a line chart. I'll just change the color to be blue. So that's the, the chart of CBA, daily chart of CBA. All I do is hit this add indicator button you can hit overlay price. Now let's put in ANZ and hit finish. Now this shows me in red the chart of ANZ. Okay, so this is a good way if you want to look at two charts together of overlaying the price. All right, to see how correlated the uh, particular stocks are. You can also see down here I've got the the depth pad up so if I want to place a trade straight away I can do that so especially maybe if you're looking at a one minute one day chart you know you zoom into this section okay you can see a bit of a reversal here you might want to quickly buy so you right click you can use the quick trade panel if you'd like buy 500 units and hit buy and that'll get you straight into the position okay this here is what we call a market map. We do cover this in another video as well, but very simply, this here is just going to show you what stocks are trending for the day. The brighter green the stock, the further it's moved for the day. Um, the brighter red, the further it's fallen for the day. Okay, Stocks that are relatively dull in color, these blacks here, are telling you that there hasn't been much of a movement. So BHP is only up 0.15% today. One one last thing to note is that all of these charts here, you can customize the size of the chart. So if, for example, you want to have a look at multiple charts on the one page, that is easy to do. So if we come up here and go analytics chart, you can have as many charts on this page as you'd like. Um, you might also like to put something else on here as well. Whilst you're looking at charts, you still might want to see your portfolio. So you could still have the portfolio screen um, you know, in, in here somewhere. Okay, so you can still see what's going on with your portfolio.